Brazilian butt lift. That sounds like something you shouldn't put into Google with your safe search turned off, but it's actually a cosmetic procedure. And all UK surgeons have stopped it immediately following the tragic death of two British women abroad. And what the operation consists of is removing fat from part of a woman's body and injecting it into her buttocks to make her more curvaceous. Now what really angers me with this story, aside from the deaths, is apparently a lot of people are going abroad to have this operation done cheap. It costs about six grand at Harley Street, but you can get it done in some ex-Soviet shithole for £2,000 by Vladimir the Butcher. And unsurprisingly, a lot of these operations aren't going as well as planned, so people are coming back to Britain and then checking into NHS hospitals to be cured of the fucking problems that they've had caused abroad. I wouldn't take my car to a fucking garage for an oil change if I thought the bloke would do it for a third of the normal price because there's something fucking wrong there. And the NHS is stretched enough. We don't need other people causing problems. Now, when I go on holiday, I take out travel insurance in case I get sick. These are people who've gone abroad knowing they're going to have a fucking operation. So why can't the NHS fuck them off back to wherever it happens? Oh, you had this operation in Serbia, did you? Well, get back on the plane and let them fucking sort it out. Stop making the British taxpayer do it. And if they can't do that, here's another solution. Don't put them in an NHS hospital. Put them in a private one. Charge them full fucking price. And on that, although these people then go, well, I can't afford that. Well, the NHS can't afford for you to do what you've fucking done either. But don't worry, you're a pretty girl now. There's always a way for a pretty girl to earn a bit of money. Government-sponsored porn. How about that? I mean, they fuck us every day. It'd be nice to see someone else getting a bit of it. And there's a woman on the radio. And cosmetic surgery is just vanity. It's all it is. It's not... You don't need it because your life's in danger. You're doing it because you're fucking vain and shallow. And there's a woman on the radio today going, Oh, well, I had this horrible experience. And I felt myself going, I don't give a fuck that you've come back with septicemia and God knows what else. But the reason she'd gone and had this Brazilian butt lift surgery was because she wanted to look more like Kim Kardashian. Please, whoever's watching this, don't try and look more like Kim Kardashian. I will feel terrible if I end up shooting the wrong fucking person. The Kardashians, to me, sum up what is wrong with the 21st century. That pointless, vapid, hollow, talentless attention whore and all of her hangers-on who are famous just for being famous and rather than young women aspiring to be something useful they're aspiring to be another media slut like that and the only reason that Kim Kardashian isn't the worst person I can think of is because she's fucking married to him Kanye fucking West although he's now changed his name to Ye presumably because he can spell it I imagine he sits at home of an evening going, what else can I do to be more of an utter cunt? I know, I'll change my name to Ye. Although if you hear me say Ye around him, it means you've been hit by a fucking train. So if you are considering cosmetic surgery, why not save up the money and have it done in the UK by a Harley Street doctor where it will be safe? Or maybe if you are one of these shallow people, Rather than taking fat out of yourself and injecting it into your ass, because that's what we need in Britain, more women with big asses, don't inject your fat into your ass, inject it into your skull to the gap where your brain's meant to fucking be.